Hey everyone, Melissa Wick here. This is a gentle and easeful yoga practice, one that you can do right before bed or at the end of your day just to really wind down and decompress and settle into gratitude because there's so much to be thankful for. So get into something comfortable and let's get started. Let's begin in child's pose. So if you have tender knees, maybe it would be nice to have a blanket to cushion the knees and get really comfortable. If you're feeling chilly, maybe put a little sweater on or put some socks on. The goal is to wind down and to feel really comfortable. So let's come into child's pose and have the toes touch with the knees a little wider. And then start to walk the hands Forward, you can keep the elbows soft and melt the forehead and the chest down. Let yourself settle and land here and take a big breath in through your nose. And exhale through the mouth. One more full breath in. Let go of your day. And you can close the lips, inviting in the natural rhythm of your breath. Feeling the weight of your hips, slowly winding down, getting a little more heavy and soft towards the earth. And letting your forehead and chest Relax here. Establishing an inner rhythmic environment with your breath. In and out through the nose. You can stay center. If you'd like to invite in a side stretch, you can start to walk the hands a little over toward the right. Maybe reach your left arm farther than the right hand and ground down through the left sit bone, breathing into your left lung, your left side body. And then you can walk your hands through center, come all the way to the top left corner, right hand extends a little farther, ground down through your right sit bone, expand the breath into your right lung. Bring yourself back to center. We're gonna lift our hips up. Make the knees underneath the hip bones here, preparing for cat-cow. So you can take a more traditional approach. So on the inhale, we tilt the pelvis, chest comes forward. On the exhale, we round and curl. If you wanna invite in more fluidity, you can start to create a circular motion here with your head, your hips, your torso. There's no right or wrong. If you wanna bring in the neck, make it as big or as small as you'd like. Just remember no one's watching you, so maybe you close your eyes and just feel your body and your breath. Establishing this mind, body, and breath connection. And if you're going in one direction, you can start to reverse. Finishing off your last circle, come back to table. We'll bring the legs completely together, tucking your toes underneath and sit back onto your heels. This is gonna be a toe stretch here. If it's too much pressure, you can keep your hands down on the mat or you can take your hands to your thighs. If you've done this many times and your feet feel open, hands come behind you, interlace the fingers and maybe you extend the elbows, open the chest. 
You can come out of the shape whenever you need. Breathing through the soles of your feet. Just thanking them for carrying you throughout the day. You're going to gently release your hands. Take your hands forward. Point your toes back down. And then we'll come on to our sit bones and extend the legs forward. You may want to scoot yourself up a bit here. And we'll bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide, Baddha Konasana, butterfly. Your hands could come to your ankles, or you, maybe your thumb will come to the inside of your foot and the rest of your hands wrap around your feet. Wherever is most comfortable, and start to find length in your chest. So you want to grab onto your feet or your ankles and pull the heart through here, almost like you're imprinting your groin towards the mat. Start to find a fold, any amount here, feeling that stretch in your hips. Maybe you can push down with your elbows onto your inner thighs. And then inhale, lift off a little bit, opening the chest. And this time we'll exhale and fold any amount. So you can either have the heels really close to your groin. If you want a different shape, you can always extend the legs out more into a diamond shape. It's a different sensation. Smoothing out your breath. Maybe you can make your exhales a little bit longer than your inhales. It helps to calm the nervous system. Bring us into a more relaxed, easeful, calm state. slowly roll ourselves up extend your legs out long in front of you now if you have tight hamstrings you can keep your knees bent here the whole time if you'd like feet flexed arms will reach up long spine as you breathe in exhale come forward any amount and then totally release try not to yank and pull just let yourself fold here tucking the chin in feel that gentle stretch in the back of the neck Oftentimes it feels really, really, really tight here. So just be gentle with yourself. Your body will unfurl naturally. Good, and then we'll slowly roll ourselves up. Give a bend in your knees. Your hands could support you as you lay yourself down onto your back. Extend your left leg out long. And take your right knee in towards your chest. Your left hand comes to the outside of your right thigh. Right arm opens up into a T in line with the shoulder and draw the right leg over to the left. So you can roll onto your left side any amount. Your head could stay center. If you have the space, maybe your head turns to the right. Connecting to the breath in and out through the nose. Make your way back to the center. You can level off the hips here. Extend your right leg long. Left knee comes in. Right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Draw the leg over to the right, rolling onto your right side. Left arm extends in line with the shoulder. Twist. Gaze center or over to the left.
up back to the center. Level the hips. Take both knees in toward you. Wrapping your arms around your shins. Give yourself a gentle hug here. Thanking yourself for taking this time to ease yourself into a delicious body stretch. Connect to your breath to calm yourself down, winding down from your day. And then we'll extend out long into Shavasana. So taking up as much space as you'd like, supporting yourself as you want, maybe a head pillow for your head, or you can cover yourself with, up, up with the blanket, palms facing up, closing the eyes, relax your breath. And perhaps here, before you fully let go into Shavasana, you could think of three things that you're grateful for. It could be the simplest thing. It could be for the food you had today or perhaps having a place to rest your head at night. But each time you do this practice, see if you can think of three different things to be grateful for each time. And let yourself bathe in that energy and elevated emotion of gratitude. And give yourself, if you can, at least five minutes here in Shavasana to let your whole body rest, receiving your practice. Namaste and good night.